I've been talking about this subject before and I just wanted to address it again because I want to go deeper into the details and you know, I practice what I preach so I wanted to talk about it again. So anyways, on this note, I got 5 reasons for you why you should do intermittent fasting or at least try it and see if it is for you. Let's roll. Welcome to yet another video. My name is Jasper and I'm glad that you're tuning in right now. If you haven't seen me yet, this channel is all about fitness, nutrition, lifestyle and overall health and I just want to inspire you to live a long, healthy and happy life. And as you can see on the intro, today I'm going to talk about intermittent fasting and there's a good reason for it because I practice what I preach and I've been doing intermittent fasting for quite some years right now. And you know, it has been a touched on subject by a lot of influencers and researchers and you know, I just wanted to talk about the basics of intermittent fasting and why you should at least try it out and see if it works for you. But before we do, I do want to encourage you to smash that like button because that surely would help the algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you want more content like this and click that bell for notification on next content. And let's hop on with the video. Intermittent fasting has been around for quite some years now and it gained an immense popularity. And there are a lot of people that are practicing intermittent fasting. And obviously it has been researched by a lot of scientists and nutritionists and we came to some kind of conclusion. There are a lot of health benefits to it. I'm going to put out each health benefit back to back that has any significance. Which is increased fat loss and better glucose regulation which is better immunity for diabetes. Um, increased gut microbiomes in normalized oxidative stress improves your blood pressure levels, normalizes your appetite, but probably all these health benefits are due to the fact of above, increased fat loss that supports the rest. And that is pretty much the basic target for me to decide to hop on intermittent fasting or at least try it. I'm going on with number two on the list, which is it is so darn easy. Intermittent fasting is such an easy tool for fat loss to incorporate into your lifestyle and there are a few reasons for it. The average intermittent fasting style is 16 to 8, which is a feeding window of 8 hours and fasting of 16. And that is actually the entire point. You're slimming down your entire feeding window. Now, if you're doing another style of intermittent fasting where you're fa fasting more or less, it doesn't really matter because it's all about the point that you're slimming down your feeding window, which would actually result in less calorie intake. Simple as that. There's also a benefit that you don't have to be constantly thinking of meals and meal prepping. You don't have to take all kinds of meals with you because you would need to make the next feeding time which sounds really weird but that's practically what it comes down to. There is an advice that you would need to eat every two or three hours and yes there is a benefit to it but you're not a bodybuilder. You don't have to get on stage and pack on all amounts of muscle and all that kind of stuff. There is another way to, to go around it. Yes four or five meals a day would be good. But you can also get that with intermittent fasting. So when it all comes down to the basics, it is pretty foolproof. You barely cannot mess this up. But that's because of the third reason on the list, it can be even more enjoyable. Now, like I've mentioned, because of the feeding window, you got much less time to feed yourself or get the calories in. You don't have to be eating small meals every two or three hours, which aren't very satiating or filling and that you would feel like that you can eat in the second plate. Now you can eat more bigger satiating meals that you would feel really fulfilled and satiated at the end of the meal, which is really enjoyable. Now within this eight hour window, it is pretty hard to get yourself all the calories in. So that would mean that you would need to provide yourself with more calorie dense foods. And obviously that is more satiating and more enjoyable. Bigger meals with more carbs, more protein, more fats, and all those kind of goodies, I mean, who wouldn't enjoy that? Now the fourth reason on the list why you should try out intermittent fasting it is much less time consuming. Now, obviously like I've mentioned before you wouldn't constantly have to be thinking of meals and meal prepping. You got a lot less meals to work in in the day. So that would result in less meal prepping 
and much more time. Now I'm not saying that it is bad to eat smaller and more meals over the day because it is a legit advice but it is time consuming and it is pretty stressful if you don't have the time and you're very busy and all that kind of stuff and you don't have to eat those six or seven meals a day with intermittent fasting. All good. Now, because your meals are more compiled, they're also easier to calculate. I got only four or five meals over the day with snacks in between, and it is very easy for me to calculate my meals in, in the calories, what I'm consuming, or when I'm making a new meal, it is a bigger meal, so I wouldn't have to divide it in a few meals, which would result in more mathematics and all that kind of stuff, and I'm definitely not good in calculating in maths. But that's an entirely different story. But uh, you get the point. Reason number five on the list why you should be trying intermittent fasting, it eventually gives you more freedom in foods. Now obviously when you set your mind to healthier living and healthy diets, it is much easier to restrict yourself from those enjoyable foods throughout the entire year. But that means that you have a lot less freedom and with intermittent fasting that is the entire different story. Like I've mentioned, because you would need more bigger satiating calorie dense meals, means you got a, lot, a little bit more freedom to add some stuff into your meals which would result in more enjoyable foods and more freedom i'm also throwing this out because the holidays are coming up like saint nicholas uh, christmas uh, new year's eve and all those kind of stuff those moments when we're actually indulging ourselves with all the, the delicious and goody stuff oh my god i'm already looking forward to it but if you use it wisely and strategize it Intermittent fasting can be so good during the, 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 the holidays and that gives you so much freedom. But even aside from the holidays, it also applies to eating out, celebrations, and going out with friends, drinking and all that kind of stuff. Use it wisely, strategize it and intermittent fasting can be very handy within enjoying and still be healthy and work on your health goals. Now even with these five reasons on the list, this sounds amazing and all, but this does, it, does not mean that it is the best magical way to lose fat. Like some kind of magical pill that would conjure the fat off your body. Now throughout the entire video you probably noticed that I'm constantly mentioning that you would still have to be conscious about what you're consuming. You still will need to be conscious about what is healthy and what not and what you're feeding your body. That doesn't mean that you can just go on and eat an entire bag of chips, a few muffins and a pizza and a few cokes and think that you're still losing weight. No, that is not true. Even though that it can be enjoyable, you still need to create some kind of healthy habit in a way. Like I've mentioned before, if you're a big eater and you like to eat big meals, then this may be something very good for you. But if you were someone by any means that loves to eat smaller meals and it's okay with that, then this probably wouldn't be something for you because I could understand that you wouldn't want to stuff yourself with calorie dense big meals that you will feel stuffed and you know not everyone likes that so then probably this wouldn't be something for you. Now I've also noticed with some clients of mine that have been under the guidance of a doctor that they've been advising against it. Now I'm not a physician or a nutritionist or a a scientist or by any means so I'm not going into that so they should stick with the advice of their doctor because they know best now because my brother has diabetes I also noticed that intermittent fasting probably wouldn't be the best choice or at least his doctor advised against it and I could understand it because of the foods that you're consuming the longer time that you're going without foods that isn't the best for a diabetic but I do have to mention uh, there are cases around that I've seen and I have experienced that they were still doing intermittent fasting with good results. So I'm not saying that you should try it out or anything that you should go against the advice of the doctor, but at least consider it. Because when it comes to intermittent fasting, there's also a point that there has been some cases of early stages of diabetes that they were cured of it or people that had high blood pressure that has been better regulation because of the intermittent fasting so it has a lot of benefits but there's a lot of controversy as well so if you're thinking about 
intermittent fasting and you're under the guidance of a doctor, do think about it and talk about it and see if it is something for you. Now, if you're curious how intermittent fasting works, how you can incorporate it into your lifestyle, what the meals would be like, how I am enjoying with, of intermittent fasting, then you should hop onto my social media like Facebook or Instagram where you can see enough content on intermittent fasting, fitness, nutrition, lifestyle and all the kind of stuff. So definitely hop on to that. Now also on the social media pages, I'm giving away free guidance for 12 weeks to incorporate intermittent fasting or start losing weight and build muscle entirely for free. Now this won't take much longer because I notice it is costing a lot of effort and time. So if you're thinking about getting free guidance online, don't wait any longer and hop onto my social media and I'll see you there. Now, if you miss your chance for the online 12 week guidance or you're just not into it, you can also hop onto my website realisticfit.nl and download my ebook entirely for free and start incorporating intermittent fasting into your lifestyle and start today. We're coming to the end of this video and I only wanted to throw this up because the holidays are coming up. And I just want to inspire you, to motivate you, to inform you that you can still work on your health and your health goals and your weight loss goals still while you're able to enjoy all the good things in life but you just need to find a good balance in it. and intermittent fasting would be a good way so definitely try that out but i don't want to keep on yapping about this subject because i pretty much said everything that i wanted to say on this video but i certainly do hope that i've motivated you to set some steps into the right direction and maybe created some clarity on intermittent fasting and that you would consider to try it out and see if it works for you but until then, I'm going to wish you a lovely day and see you on the next video. See you. Peace.